Hey guys, it is Warm My42 here. You're gonna be playing a fairly new custom zombie map known as Not Too Zombie Portal, created by Gary. And let's go ahead and get into it. So, as suggested by name, this is a map based off uh, Portal style um, from the game created by Valve. Looks like it's using the textures from the second one. I could be wrong. It could be the first. So yeah, we got Barry right here. We're off the bat for 1,000. Got Nambu on the wall. And Goober. No. Yeah, it's Goober. Fully auto pistol. It's always take forever to get into this first room. Oh, whoa. Where'd they come from? Must have been able to walk through the wall or something. I don't think there's a way to open this door. I wasn't able to open it when I was playing it earlier. Oh, they rise from right there. Okay. Ooh. Okay. The game froze for a moment. Haven't had that happen before. Oh. Almost died there. <laughs> so yeah, I just think that while I'm not really working on anything in terms of mods, I might as well just upload some gameplays of any new maps that come out that you might find interesting or worth playing. I think a buddy of mine, um... To me, 1992 is released um, his map that he's been working on for quite a while uh, called Apex Mirage. So I might do some gameplay on that after this map. I'll just get a couple more points real quick. Let's go ahead and open up the first door. It goes right here. I want to actually save my money before I buy that FG42 because the next store has a MP40 off the wall. But it's a fairly small map from so far what I've played. I don't know if you've got the jug room, MP40, and also the box right there. Seems to me that there should be more to it, but after this store, it's the ending, so. That does kind of look cool with the uh, portal textures, that's for sure. <laughs> and crates from portal. I haven't really played portal much except for the second one, which I actually bought a disc copy of, which I kind of regret, because I bought it from the store for 20 and then next week or so the game was on sale on Steam. Made that mistake with two other games, Battlefield 3 and Borderlands 2, actually, but oh well, at least I enjoyed it in each of the games. Be kind of cool if there was maybe some way to. Well, I've had it upload my channel, actually, um, a replication of the Portal gun working in Bullet War. I think it would have been pretty cool to have it in this map, actually. Just turn on the sound a bit. Because I've seen the model on a couple of sites just easily get that working in game and then apply the scripts to it. But it's not bad of a map. I don't even think I'll really even need Jug because I think the Bible ending was like 40,000 or so. But I guess it never hurts to be safe. But one thing you have to be careful here, you can actually fall down there and die. So that's what I did the first time. <laughs> yeah, PPSH right there. Looks like it's probably the MP version, so I'm going to expect not as much ammo, perhaps, and not as much damage, maybe. 
and press F to end the game for 40,000. So let's see how long that takes. Get max stamina anytime soon would be nice. Rack up a lot of points with the pistol. Might actually pack a punch. Yeah. Um, actually, might as well go with this. There. Might as well get speed call just so I could have the perks I'll need. I don't think this map has a working um, quick revive, but I didn't check to see if that was true or not. And when I say working quick revive, I mean as in like the Black Ops solo style, where it'll revive you. Definitely get a lot of points with this. I worry though if I upgrade it'll be the explosive round burst version, which isn't what I want. Let's go ahead and grab this and that. <laughs> get hit on the head, get hurt by something. I fly through. Hmm. I never really paid attention to what um, symbols there were on those signs whenever I played. And them zombies get a bit too close. For too close for comfort, as they say. Nope. Yeah, lucky there. Double tap seemed to last for quite a while, actually. And get some more ammo. I might as well just hit the box, why not? <laughs> Panzer Shrek. Won't take that, though. Kind of missing Black Ops and Black Ops 2, where you can hit tab and open up the um, menu for um, how many sh kills or headshots you got kind of no point having those mission objectives. I don't think I, I think I've maybe seen like one or two maps that actually use that. Kind of wish there was more to do though. Maybe a way to open up that door for example. <laughs> mm. 
slice of cake. Seems like the zombies are kind of strange when gibbed for some reason. Pretty much just stand here with the MP40. I think it would be faster if I had the PBSH though. Might grab that next round. Uh -huh. Should have actually waited, being mean, it's the end of the round now. I'm gonna grab PPS Age. Better get me some ammo. So let's see what he did. Ah, this version of PPS Age, look at that. No drum mag. No. Is that just me, or is this PPSH weaker than usual? I think he's using the MP stats, which isn't very useful in zombies, being that the zombies obviously increase their health dramatically while you're playing, but in multiplayer, players only have 100 health, so they based off the PPSH for that in multiplayer. For those of you who, of course, don't know or haven't done multiplayer modding before, that's kind of how it works. For example, most snipers in COD do about 70 damage, or at least in Black Ops 1, or Marfa 1, or even um, World at War, I think. Uh, might as well pack a bunch of this PPSH to see what we get from that. Hopefully it's not as weak. Or we might actually get the Reaper. Stalin's Razor. Well, that's a much better um, clip size. <laughs> points from this. I guess that's the only advantage for having such a low damage. PPSH out of the box. That would be a lot better. Hmm. Browning. Why not? <laughs> Silenced Browning. So about 10k left, I think we might get in the next few rounds. I 
actually get it right here. Yep. <laughs> just reload again. I'm thinking we might as well just get around 15, why not? It's fairly easy, actually. Yeah, definitely be a lot easier now. really doesn't make it easy whenever a map maker makes it to where um, zombies only spawn in the starting room and then you just camp on the other side of the map and let the zombies come in. It's a lot better if you've got zombie spawns all over the place, but then again, adds a bit more difficulty to the map. Make it a bit more interesting though. <laughs> Molotovs. So the thing around at the end of the round here, we'll go ahead and just go up and um, what call it? Go ahead and buy the ending. Ooh. I'm not even sure if this is a two or three hit jug, to be honest. Ridiculous the amount of points you can rack up like this. Alright then, so let's go ahead and buy this ending with a different gun now so we can sprint a bit faster. <laughs> you win. Bravo! So yeah, that's Nazi Zombie Portal by Gary. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please remember to rate, comment, and I'll see you guys in the next video.